Okay, the UI for events is pretty straightforward. Mainly HTML with bootstrap classes. So again, I'm going to copy paste the HTML and then explain what some of the tags and classes are going to do. So open events.component.html and then paste the HTML. You can of course find the HTML on my GitHub repo. All right, let's begin. First, we have a div tag with a class row with a margin top five. So this is for additional spacing at the top. And then we have another div tag within row for column. And this is going to span MD4 with a margin bottom of three. So the intention here is with MD4, we are going to have three events per row. Bootstrap has 12 column grids. So four, 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 we're going to have three in each row. So this is going to be in a for loop. So we're going to use the ng4 structural directive, and then we are going to iterate over events array. Now this is the array that we have assigned the events to. So for each event in the events array, we are going to have a card. Now this is going to have a body. The card body is going to contain a title and some text. Now the title is going to be the name of the event. The text is going to be the description of the event, a dummy button that says buy tickets. And then in the card footer, we are going to show the date of the event. We're going to use a pipe filter with date formatted to short date. Similarly, let's copy paste the HTML in the special events HTML as well. So copy this, open special events HTML, and then paste it. The only difference here is instead of iterating over the events array, we are going to iterate over special events. And just for color difference, I'm gonna change primary to success. So buy tickets is going to be a green button instead of a blue button. All right, it's time to test the events component. I'm gonna go back to the browser, close the console, and then go to events. And you can see that we have the list of regular events. Three events per row, buy tickets. This is the title, the description, the dummy button, and then the event date. And if I navigate to the members tab, you can see again the list of special events. The title, the description, the dummy buy tickets button, and then of course the event date. And you can see that we have the difference in the color of the buttons. All right, with this, we have set up a major portion of our UI. But as you see, any user, even not logged in, can view both the regular events and the special events. So in the next section, let's add authentication to our application to make sure only logged in users are able to navigate to the members route. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.